Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to introduce you to this brand new online emulation platform called Afterplay. Afterplay is an incredibly unique platform because while we have seen some online emulation platforms before, we've not seen any that work flawlessly on both PCs as well as smartphones. Afterplay has a cloud saving capability so you can save your games and resume them later on. This means, for example, let's say you're playing a game on your PC at home and it's time to head out and get on with your day. You simply save your game and go about your day. But later on, you find that you have some downtime. You can simply take out your smartphone, jump onto Afterplay, and resume your game exactly where you left off, right from your phone, using the built-in touchscreen controls that Afterplay has available to you. So today, I'm going to show you around this platform so you can get a better feel for exactly how everything works. Now, Afterplay does not provide ROMs to you, so you actually bring your own ROMs to this platform by simply creating a free account and dropping the ROMs into your account. You can store as many ROMs as you'd like, and there are absolutely no limitations to the amount of saves you can have on your account. Afterplay is still very new, and therefore, at the time of this video, they only support emulation for the Super Nintendo and Game Boy collections. However, they are constantly upgrading the platform and will eventually support all your typical retro gaming collections. So let's get started showing you exactly how this works. All right, so now in order to get started on here, we're going to go to our web browser. We're just going to type in afterplay.io hit enter and it's going to take us right to the Afterplay platform. And now I'm actually already logged in here, but I'll show you the process. I'll actually log out first just to show you exactly how you end up logging in here. So coming in here fresh, this is how everything's going to look. They give you one game over here to um, just give you a demo on here. So without even logging in, you're able to jump into this particular game that they include on here and test everything out. So I do recommend logging in. Everything is free on here. So we just go to the top right corner where it says log in. We'll click right there and you're going to sign in with your email. So if you have you know, any email account, you can log in right up here. If you have a Gmail account, though, click the bottom one. So I have a Gmail account. So I'm just going to click here, enter in my email information. So I just skipped ahead. I entered in my email address and everything. So you'll notice that once you do that, everything populates up here in the top right corner. So it does say Retro Pie Guy. That's just how I set up my account here. So under my games, there's nothing listed right now because this is a brand new account and we haven't added any ROMs yet. So again, like I said before, Afterplay does not provide you with ROMs. You have to download them off of the internet and bring them into Afterplay yourself. You can also use a RetroPie game collection card and just extract ROMs from your ROMs folder. You know, just save them to like your desktop and then drop them in here. That's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm just gonna click add game. And now we can select files. So I actually have a little folder I put together on my computer here titled test ROMs and in here I have just a handful of different ROMs. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, NBA Jam Tournament Edition here. So I'll click that, hit open, and it'll upload here. You'll see we have a little progress bar. It uploads these ROMs super quickly. It only takes a couple seconds to do. So that's it. You see that it fully uploaded that. It's going to advance us right in here and it has, says NBA Jam Tournament Edition has been added to your library, so we can either play the NBA Jam Tournament Edition game, add an additional game, or go to our library. So I'm going to add another game on here. And now I'm going to add, let's see, um, Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. We'll hit open. Again, it'll upload for a couple seconds. And then just like that, it adds it right in. So we can either play this again, add another game or go to our library. I'm going to go to our library just so we can see how this is laid out. So you notice there's no thumbnails posted up here yet. That's because we haven't jumped into the games just yet. So I'm actually going to jump into Indiana Jones and it will populate a thumbnail in once we jump into the game and it'll automatically do your thumbnail to wherever your last save state was. So if you played this game and you advanced through level one and you paused it at level two, it'll show you the exact same thumbnail that goes along with your save state at that level two place. So I'm gonna just jump in here. I'm not gonna actually play this game, but you'll see that it does load in here. And then I'm just gonna pause it before it gets started, just so the audio doesn't drown me out for this video. So down here at the bottom, you'll see there's 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, and full screen. This is going to be your screen size, so it automatically defaults to 2x on a computer like this. So if we go to 3x, you see that it blows up the image. 4x makes it even bigger here. And then full screen will just take up the entire screen. It will still remain in that 4-3 layout here because this is a retro game. It wasn't built on widescreen, so I'm just going to hit escape on my keyboard. That'll bring me right back to that 2x 
Um, up here we have screenshot. So if we click that, it'll actually take a screenshot of our game placement here. It will populate that into our thumbnail, which we saw on the um, previous screen. This is our pause and play button here. This is our save button. So if we hit this, it'll automatically save. So here we have our volume control. So we can click this to mute our game or just leave it with the volume on. And then here, this keyboard icon is gonna be your control center. So if we click here, we can go in here and change our control options. So we have joystick, we have D-pad, we have our keyboard set up here for controls for on the keyboard. And then down here, we actually have gamepad. So what you can do with Afterplay is you can actually plug in a USB gamepad controller into your computer and map it on here. So I could take a Super Nintendo gamepad controller, plug it into my computer, map it on here just like I would on RetroPie, go down to the bottom and hit save, and I could play this game on Afterplay with my Super Nintendo gamepad controller, which is a really nice feature to have. So again, the mapping process, just the, exactly the same as you would have on RetroPie. You would just click, you know, for the up function here, you'd go over here, click this, and then with your gamepad controller, you just hit that D-pad up, and you just move along through all of the different functions here. So I'm not going to save this because I don't want to mess anything up since I'm not using a gamepad controller. So I'm just going to X this out. And then here you'll notice there's three dots. This is just some additional options. So here we have auto save state. That means that once you exit a game, it'll automatically save your progress. And we also have auto load state saved as well. So that means that once you jump back into your ROM, it'll automatically take you to where your last save state was. We have some additional options here, reset console. That's if you want to reset your game. And then we have delete games. You can click that if you want to delete this game from your library. So that's pretty much everything here. I'm going to actually jump over to the iPhone and I'm going to show you exactly how Afterplay works over there. And we'll actually demo some games over there as well. All right, so you can see here that we jumped onto afterplay.io on my iPhone, logged into the account, and we have the same two games that we loaded onto our account through our PC. So I'm just gonna click on NBA Jam Tournament Edition. It's gonna download the game on here, start everything off. You notice it looks exactly the same way it does on our PC. However, we do have the controls down here at the bottom. So we have a joystick here, which is touch screen. We have all of our buttons on the right hand side and start and select. At the top, we have all of our same options that we have on the PC version. So let's jump in here and demo this game. So I'm gonna hit the start button. And we'll do head to head. San Antonio. Showtime. Tonight's matchup: Spurs versus Sixers. So I'm not sure of the controls here. I think B is shoot. Should have picked a game that I'm good at. Alright, so there's a three-pointer at least. So you can see here that everything does work really well. I'm awful at this game here. I'm not really sure what the controls are. That's just me though. It's not the uh, system by any means. I almost got a dunk there. Um, so everything does work great. You can see there's absolutely no lags or anything like that. I'm just running this off of my iPhone. You don't need to have any particular 
uh, smartphone. It will work on any smartphone. All right, another two points. All right, I'm gonna get out of here while the getting's good. So in order to exit, you can just go up here to the pause button, pause your game. Like I said before, it's going to, because we already have the um, auto save state enabled on here, just by exiting the game, you could just hit um, after play up here in the corner and you'll notice that the screenshot here for NBA Jam Tournament Edition is automatically set to exactly where we just exited the game. So if we jump back in here, just like this, it'll automatically take us right back to where we were. So we don't have to worry about saving the game. It'll automatically do that as long as we have that uh, function enabled on our account. So uh, same can be said if we jump over from our phone now back to the computer, everything will work over there the exact same way. We'll be able to resume the game, you know, exactly the same way that we did it right here. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. That's your full demo of the Afterplay online emulation platform. They're definitely onto something here. They have a lot of really amazing things going on, a lot of different functions, features, and capabilities that a lot of other online emulation platforms do not have. So definitely check them out. It's totally free, so definitely sign up, test it out, put some of your ROMs on here, play on your computer, play on your phone. You definitely won't regret it. You're gonna have a blast. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different videos based around retro gaming. We do product reviews, tutorials, gameplay demos, just a lot of great stuff in general. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.